here once again, giving all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, man. Double honors to the elders that teach and rule well, the apostles of GMS, and double honors to your brothers out there that's teaching this truth, man. All right, this was a heavy week. You know, the, the servants of the Most High, we got to come out here every week, man, week in and week out, to prophesy the downfall of this country, let you Negroes and Hispanics know who you are according to the Bible, and tell you that you need to repent and to come back to your nationality, man, because you are the biblical Israelites that came on this side of the world and lost your heritage, lost your history, lost your language. And we had to tell you that America, a.k.a. Babylon, is going to fall down, man, on every level. The economy is going to fall. You're going to have a famine out here. You're going to have race riots. You're going to have martial law. All right, that's why they federalized the police. It's going to be a police state out here real soon, man. All your civil liberties is going to get taken away. So now it behooves you to get right before these things happen. That's what we come out here to warn you. All right? You need scriptures, man. Romans. Chapter 13, verse 11. You got these people out here in this memorial weekend nonsense. That's folly and that's foolishness. Romans 13 and 11. It says, And that knowing the time, and that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. That's when you got all these signs happening. That's when you got all these earthquakes, natural disasters, man-made diseases. Hell, every week you Negroes getting shot and killed by the police. These are the signs of the times, man. And racial tension going to keep continue to build in this country. Until it's going to be a racial class. It's going to be a race war. So the scripture says, now it's high time to wake up out of sleep, man. Because two-thirds of you Negroes and Hispanics, you in darkness. Alright? These churches ain't teaching you the truth because they don't have the truth. They all sold out. Read again. And then knowing the time that it is high time to wake up out of sleep for as now is our salvation aka the kingdom of heaven do you know america's going down man oh yes oh you know oh, okay well you sensible you sensible you're sensible one of the few one of the few one of the few because the majority of these people out here they don't think america's going down man you know the economy is about to fall they think this place gonna keep on going when the elites of this society trying to bring a police state they want to have this place on lockdown. Well, you got these Negroes and Hispanics acting like a bunch of brute beasts. Like that McDonald's attack, man. These women... <laughs> that's why two-thirds you're going to get deaf, man. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. They have none understanding. And they are wise to do evil. And that's talking about you Negroes, Hispanics, and you Native Indians. Okay, selling drugs on the corner, being homos. Okay, gang bangers. That's wicked, man. The scripture says you are wise to do evil. But to do good, you have no understanding. You're not keeping the commandments. You don't even have faith. You don't even know how the Lord look like. You don't even consider your condition and why you went in slavery. The reason why we fell as a people and the white man rules over us because we broke God's commandments, man. That's the penalty for coming, against, coming up against the Most High. Slavery, man. And that's why you're in the ghettos and slums today. But the scripture says you don't even consider that. The Bible says you're sottish children. We keep reading. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. 
but to do good they have no knowledge okay we, we're doing good we're doing good all right let me read another preset Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3 the ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib but Israel doeth not consider my people do my people doeth not consider all sinful nation man and what sin breaking God's commandments our people ain't keeping the commandments man you don't keep the dietary law you don't keep the moral laws the civil laws you don't even keep the high holy days Okay, celebrate Christmas, Easter, that's wicked, man. That's pagan. The Passover just happened not too long ago. You ain't keep that, man. That's, and when we come out here and try to warn you, you fan the hand. But that's why y'all gonna get caught it off in them concentration camps. All right? And then earlier you had this guy trying to shut down the program of the Lord. You can't shut down this word, man. Okay? This is the Heavenly Father's program. You can't come up here and shut down the script. You can't come up here and, and run us off the corner. This guy took my he head of security. The most high is the head of this planet. Okay, and he's about to bring judgment on this place. That's why every week something is happening, man. All these calamities, all these events, these are all the signs of the time. This is what Christ warned us about over 2,000 years ago. Things that are about to take place on the planet Earth. Now is the time to repent. Now is the time to seek the most high. Okay? You didn't like the Negro Hispanics in the United States. As long as you remain in these churches, you're going to fall the to fall astray. That's what the Bible says. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6. Oh, this is coming? I mean, you had a security. Oh, right. <laughs> Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. How do you seek the most high when the prophets come out here, man? But we warn you what things to come, man. Let you know that World War Three is coming. Martial law, like I said, and racial tensions going to build. The collapse of this empire you call America. Because America's going to fall, man, and it's already fallen. That's why you can't put your trust in this country, man. That's why you can't put your trust in that fool Obama. Because a lot of you Negroes were happy as hell when he became president. Like he was going to change something, man. The change he's going to bring is a police state. Now I want to bring out an article about them federalizing the police. Right, that's why they have Marshall over there in Baltimore before that in Ferguson. And soon that's going to happen on a national level throughout all states. All they need is an event to trigger it. Okay? But who I'm talking about that's behind these things, the Rob Childs of DuPont and the Gettys, what people call the Illuminati. Okay? Because they're going to set up this new world order, man. This new world order is already in the fourth quarter. Alright? That's what the Most High said, Isaiah 55 and 6. You got these idiots out here smiling. What's so funny, man? Okay. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let it return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. So if you return to the Most High, man, he'll clean your slate, man. But you gotta repent, man. You gotta acknowledge your wrongdoings. You gotta come out of them churches. Okay, you gotta stop selling drugs. Stop being whores. Stop being faggots. Because you keep following the ways of America, you're gonna go down with it. Alright, we get another preset. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. Another voice from heaven 
saying, come up out of her, my people. Who's that? That's the Heavenly Father. He's telling you so-called Negroes and Hispanics to come up out of her, man. Mentally and spiritually. Because the downfall of this country is near. That's all these signs that happen in every single week, man. And more of you Negroes and Hispanics gonna get shot by the police. Okay? Racial tension gonna keep building. If you're from another country, you should go back. You should go back, man. It's all hell about to break loose in this country. Until you be a person that's not Let's wise and shoot people. Not me. That's your police. Now I ain't shooting nobody. Alright? Come on, let's shoot people, man. You're a clown, man. Just I'm saying, that's the average American, man. A dildo head, man. You're out here talking serious things. You're talking about let's shoot people. Anyway, we continue. Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come up out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, that it receive not of her plagues. And I just mentioned the plagues not too long ago. Alright? Disease, warfare, GMOs. You know, most I gonna preserve the elect from these things. But at the same time, you gotta come, the scripture says to come up out of her. You gotta come out of her philosophy. Okay, you gotta come out of the ways of the white man, period. Right? It's time to come out of that, man. Stop being a house negro, man. Stop trying to protect your master's house from birth. Because if you are that way, you're going to be destroyed. It says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. What iniquities the Heavenly Father remembers of America? The way it was built of great robbery and murder. Lies, deceit, hypocrisy, Freemasonry, homosexuality. Hell, that white Jesus, that's iniquity. That's sin upon sin. Because the white man knows the truth. But that's what we call him the devil. Because he's a slanderer and he's a deceiver. Alright? Continue on. It says, For they have shed the blood of the saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. So the Heavenly Father said to come up out of her, man. Let me get another precept on that. Hosea chapter 4 verse 1 Hear the word of the Lord Ye children of Israel For the Lord have a controversy With the inhabitants of the land Which is America aka Babylon man. The Heavenly Father has a controversy with this place man. Alright And he over there shaking his head You a clown man Only <laughs> You a clown man If you knew what was coming to this country You would run You would flee See, but the scripture says, warn to that laugh now. Because you're going to be mourning and weeping later. The same government that these idiots trust in, they're going to put them in concentration camps and they're going to kill them. And they're going to force you to take that microchip. Because you have a lot of idiots out there from the Israelite world teaching that the mark of the beast is not the RFID chip. Because they want to make this a cashless society. They want to chip these people. But the majority of these people, they're going to take the microchip anyway. Okay, because they're going to they gonna promote it or advertise it like it's a good thing. But it's really to have self-control to put you further in slavery. Okay, so the mark of the beast is coming, man. It's already here. It's already over there in Sweden. It's already over there in Europe. It's already in credit cards and it's already in your cell phones. It's already in certain metro cards. The last step is to put it in people. Okay? And these churches ain't gonna bring that out because they're underneath a 501c3 charter. Just like Nate and the IUIC. Because they're also teaching that the mark of the beast is not the RFID chip. Alright? I'm gonna get a scripture on false prophets like that, man. I'm gonna change topics slightly. Okay. Isaiah chapter 56 verse 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. How, what's a watchman, a prophet, or a seer? These pastors are supposed to warn you of what's coming to this society, man. But every week they pass the plate and you jump up and down like a fool. 
And you don't learn nothing in these churches, man. You don't learn the commandments. You don't learn your nationality. You don't even learn about the, the future prophecies, what's coming to this country. Because they're hirelings. Like Christ said, they're wolves in sheep clothing. So the Bible says they're dumb dogs. Because they can't bark. A guard dog is supposed to bark or let you know when the enemy is coming. And that's what a pastor's supposed to do. He's supposed to be a shepherd over the flock. And let you know that the wolf is coming. Destruction is coming. Alright? Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yea, they are all greedy dogs. Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes, your local preacher. Okay, Comfy, Nate. All those guys are greedy dogs, man. They're all about money. They're all about themselves. They're not about the sheep. All right? A lot of them guys don't even come out to the highways ahead. You got to come out here and look like a fool for Christ's sake. Because the Bible said the Most High was going to save those by the foolishness of preaching, man. Okay, you got to come out here amongst these wicked ass people, man. See? The chief place of concourse. It says, read again, verse 11. Yea, they are all greedy dogs, which can never have enough. And they are shepherds, they cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his gain from his quarter. So the Bible says they're all about themselves, man. These, these fake ass preachers, man. All right? They're not about the sheep or the flock. They're all about themselves. That's why they don't come out here to highways and hedges. That's why a lot of them guys say that you don't have to come out in the winter time. They're the seasonal prophets. And they're going to have their reward, which is slavery, which is death. Okay? It's a dead weekend. It's because of the holiday. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 I charge thee therefore before the Most High and the Lord Yahweh Shai or Jesus Christ who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom because the one the world called Jesus Christ a black man is coming back man to judge this planet earth for his wickedness man and to rule over these heathens or these other nations for what you did to his people so-called Negro Hispanics and Native Indians because all these nations are going to pay that's why America's going to pay because the way it was built okay and two thirds you you fake ass niggas that don't want to come out here and preach you're going to pay too because you got a lot of blood on your hands a lot of you guys you know the truth but you took that Judas purse I'm talking about Nate and I'm talking about um, General Yohanna man okay you know the RFID chip is a mark of the beast you know martial law is coming, but you guys don't bring it out. Okay? I'm just the point I want to bring out verse 2. It says, preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine, man. So you got to come out here when it's hot and you got to come out here when it's cold. When things are happening and things are not happening. Okay? You always got to come out here, man. You got to show your faith. You gotta show that you are a worthy servant to receive that reward. And that reward is the kingdom of heaven. Because that's the goal. Man. The goal is to raise up the Hello? elect of these Hello? people. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. I think it was a dumb, duff, and dead, man. We're on another preset. 
John chapter 10 verse 1. John chapter 10 verse 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheephole, but climb it up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. I'm going to jump to the point. Verse 7. Then Yahweh Shai said unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. So we have to come through Yahweh Shai. And the way you come through him is by calling on his name. Because Jesus Christ ain't his name. That's a Greek name, man. Yahweh Shai is his name in the Hebrew. Okay? All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not hear them. I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved. And shall go in and out and find pasture. Okay? The, the, the door is not the ISUPK or any other group. The door we all got to come to is Yahweh Shah. Because he's pleading on your behalf to the Father, the Most High. Okay? So I'm going to bring this point out though. Verse 10. The thief commit. Verse 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gave it his life for the sheep. And so do we. The 144,000, Lord willing, I'm a part of that. The way you give your life to the sheep is by coming out here and prophesying. Okay? Coming out here and edifying, rebuking, reproving. And raising up the elect of your people and condemning the ones that ain't right. Because anything can happen to us out here. The cops can come up here. Somebody can come up and attack you, demons. You got to deal with the weather. You're putting your life on the line for the sheep. The scripture says whether they hear or whether they forbear. Whether they listen or they don't listen. Like last week was a pretty good week. We had a lot of people come up and got edified. Man. And that's beautiful through the spirit. This week is a so-called holiday weekend. It's dead. But you still got to come out here, man. Because this work is not in vain. This labor is not in vain. It gets published on the internet. It says, But he that is a hireling, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, see if the wolf come in. And who's the wolf? Esau. And his police state. That's the wolf that's coming to this country. And leaveth the sheep, and fleeth. All these queers out here, man. That's why Babylon gonna be destroyed, man. See what I'm saying? And these these homosexuals, they looking at me like I'm crazy. You're crazy. All right. Anyway, let me continue on. And the wolf catcheth them and scattered the sheep. So a lot of these people in these churches, they gonna be devoured, man. Because they pastor ain't telling them. And a lot of these people in these Israelite congregations, they gonna be devoured. Because they're not being warned or foretold of the things to come. Alright? So a lot of you guys, you got blood on your hand, man. 